There's a story of a dad who took his family to a high school football game, and during the third quarter, the daughter asked, Dad, can I have some money to buy some candy? The dad wasn't a big fan of candy, but gave his daughter five dollars and said, go and buy some candy. She came back with a bag full of Skittles. As the dad watched her eat them, he asked, can I have some Skittles? And the daughter said, no. So the dad said, just give me a couple. And her reply was, they're mine. The daughter didn't understand several things. Number one, she didn't understand the fact that the dad was the one who bought the Skittles for her. Number two, she didn't realize the dad's strength. The dad was strong enough to forcibly take those Skittles from her and eat every one of them if he wanted to. Number three, she didn't understand that he could have gone to the concession stand put 300 packs of Skittles on a credit card and come back to her and given her so many Skittles that she couldn't have eaten them all in a year. It's amazing what kids don't realize at times. Our scripture for today is Psalm 50 verses 7 to 15. Now remember yesterday we had God calling the believers, his people, his children before him for judgment. Well this is what followed. Psalm 50, verses 7 to 15. Listen, my people, and I will speak. I will testify against you, Israel. I am God, your God. I bring no charges against you concerning your sacrifices or concerning your burnt offerings, which are ever before me. I have no need of all of a bull from your stall or of goats from your pens, for every animal of the forest is mine and the cattle on a thousand hills. I know every bird in the mountains and the insects in the fields are mine. If I were hungry, I would not tell you, for the world is mine and all that is in it. Do I eat the flesh of bulls or drink the blood of goats? Sacrifice thank offerings to God. Fulfill your vows to the Most High and call on me in the day of trouble. I will deliver you and you will honor me. Now, God rebukes his people for two reasons. The first is external religiosity without inward heart change. Now, in verses 8 to 13, we see people who think their worship offerings are somehow doing God a favor. Now, this is moralism, which is the idea that with our ethical life and religious observance, we can put God in our debt so that he owes us things. But, on the contrary, grateful joy for our undeserved free salvation should be motivating all that we do. Now remember the story of the daughter with the Skittles? We all have Skittles. Some of us have a pretty nice sized pile of Skittles. Others have a medium sized pile of Skittles and some of us have little bags of Skittles. Our loving God comes to us and says, would you bring me some Skittles? Just a few Skittles? And what do you think our reaction is? No, they're mine. And God says, just bring me some Skittles. But we still say, uh-uh, I made those Skittles. I own those Skittles. Now, like the daughter, we don't understand several things. God is the one who gave them to us. They're his Skittles. He bought them. In an instant, God could take all of our Skittles away from us. Also, we don't understand that God could rain so many Skittles on our lives that we wouldn't know what to do with them. So many Skittles that we couldn't possibly spend or enjoy all of them. So friends, I ask you today to examine your heart. Do you feel God owes you more Skittles, a better life? Do you obey God because you feel you have to in order to get what you want? Or do you obey God out of a loving wonder for what he has already done for you? Let's pray. Lord, I cannot give you anything without remembering that both the thing I am giving you and even the desire to give it to you are both from you anyway. I can never put you in my debt because of what Jesus did. I am not my own. I'm bought with a price. 
let that insight rid me of all grumbling and self-pity today. And I pray this in Christ's name. Amen. Friends, get out in the sunshine while we have it, and thank God for keeping you safe. Let's not take our Skittles for granted. And most of all, friends, be blessed.